Have a listen to this. Mm. <laughs> now, I, can't I get tweets this. daily saying, You're so lucky, he's so <laughs> handsome, what a lovely guy. And yeah, he is. But I don't sleep. <laughs> I work 26 jobs and I can't even sleep because that is my husband. And that is me being polite because I could have done a really worse one. Sarah, the noises that this man makes is absolutely unbelievable. But luckily enough, I've got Dr. Sarah here now. She's going to give me some tips and tricks that might help. Sarah, please tell me what causes snoring because how can I stop it? So it is a breathing disorder, so bless him, it's not entirely his fault. It is fault. his fault. I blame him for everything now. <laughs> it's something that's only come on in the last year or so. OK, well, essentially, it's just um, vibrations that are caused by the soft palate um, between the nose and, and the mouth. Um, and some people have triggers, so some people it's alcohol, others it's weight gain, some it's smoking. But other people don't have any of those specific causes, but have some physiological problems within their nose or their throat. The best way of trying to figure out how to treat it is try and figure out what kind of snorer you are. Well, this, this is the kind of snorer he is. <laughs> it's not, no, no, not again. It's that. You do not need to hear this again. And do you know what may I say is that noise, but can I just say he's got another one as well, which is the one that really aggravates me. He goes... <sighs> he does this thing. <sighs> and I have to punch him and roll him over. OK, well... It sounds like maybe he could be a mouth snorer. So essentially, normally, when we breathe in, we breathe in through our nose at night time and it comes round, nicely glides along the soft palate and down. But when your mouth is open at night time um, and you breathe through your mouth, it just whacks right at the back of the throat and causes this vibration and then comes back out again. Um, but if, so one way to test is A, record it, are you, is your mouth open at night time? B, it's everything. Was it open? Open, shut, round the corner. <laughs> you do That's everything. Really He's got all the snores, every snore. I could name that snore. This okay, is a real well, exaggeration. It's a, really a not. <laughs> um, you can also test it by making the snoring noise with your mouth open now and then trying to close your mouth and see if you can make that same snoring no noise with right. your mouth closed. But what, is there any things like products that can help There's support so in the many. strips and you don't like wearing the strips? Absolutely. So for mouth breathing, um, it's not a bad idea to consider a mouth guard. Um, these keep your mouth closed and you can also not try... <laughs> See what I mean? Like, he won't wear it. You could try a, um, a mouth... A chin... I'm a definitely... A chin strap. I'm definitely not wearing that. Is that for real? No, honestly, these both keep the, the mouth closed. And is the chin strap... Is that is that so designed that, that, to stop snoring? Yeah, so that would keep the mouth closed if you, you are a mouth, closed, uh, is, mouth snorer. Uh, I, I, would, I would try it on if I have to. Is it like that? Um, the other way around. Way around. <laughs> yeah. Put that on there. Right, like, yeah. You're in your hair, but oh well, get over it. It's not happening. That's not the other way around, is it? Yeah, exactly like that. Oh, look at so, the hair, um, You may need to adjust the size. They do come in adjust How the sizes. How are you supposed so... to sleep with this on? <laughs> is this for real? <laughs> if it works, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, look, you may have divorce papers I'll otherwise. Tell you, I'll tell you to start with, there's no way you'd wear that if you were snoring. I don't snore. And you wouldn't stick those in your teeth, or well, they wouldn't fit on your teeth. Now, it's possible that actually you could be, you could be a, a nose snorer. You might not necessarily be a mouth snorer, and that's for people whose noses kind of collapse in at night time, or if they've got congestion within the nose, um, or polyps, or deviated septum, things like that. Well, he's saying he's not wearing these. OK, so... So what's this pillow? Is this a special <laughs> pillow? Please tell me this is an anti-snore pillow. It actually is right, an anti-snore pillow. Right, I'll have two. Pillow. <laughs> Now, well, this one, it's um, designed to ergonomically keep your um, neck uh, within a certain position, so head and neck in a certain position, so that it actually doesn't constrict the neck and therefore allows you to have a uh, good airflow through, through the neck. So that is something that everyone can try, whether or not you're a nose, throat uh, or a mouth snorer. And these strips, he doesn't, he just won't wear them. Now, these strips are good for people whose nose collapses in, um, but if you've got things like um, congestion, you may need nasal sprays, you may need um, antihistamines in case it's an allergy base. Yeah, I mean, one thing I will say about the strips is it shut him up. It yeah. did shut me up, purely them. because of the sheer fact of at least he was actually doing something. So that's there, there's one open there. But his problem that he moans at me about is he gets an indentation on his nose and sometimes and in they... the night it falls off. You don't, you rip it off. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. You maybe need to record that next time, eh? I thought, why don't I just put all of that bedroom activity on the telly, shall I? Just set up a camera, I'll get the big brother lot onto it. Unbelievable, see? 